right. Welcome back, Valley Free Radio listeners. And I want to say welcome to our Northampton community television audience. This is Rick Haggerty kicking it for Peace, Culture, and Education, airing each Sunday morning from 8 to 10 a.m. on Valley Free Radio, 103.3 FM Northampton, streaming live at valleyfreeradio.org and repeating now Tuesday nights, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And I'd like to welcome my guest, Brian Larney. Good morning, Brian. Morning. How are you, Rick? All right. Get right up to that mic. How- oh, sorry. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, better? Yeah, sure. Yes, yes. So uh, thanks so much for being here. It's great to see you again. Great to see you as well. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm so, so excited to have you in. And, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of your music. And I know uh, folks can check it out on uh, Facebook. And they have to check out, uh, of course, your uh, your outstanding uh, music videos as well oh. as your great <laughs> music. <laughs> Thanks. We have a lot of fun making them. So. Yeah, uh, so. it's, it's fantastic. So how about if we kick it off with a song? Sure, let's do it. All right, and you've okay. got uh, Favorite Lies to start it off. Do you want to say uh, say something about that song? Um, Let me see. What about Favorite Lies? Um, uh, Not really. I mean, it's just a, uh, it's a simple, simple song about uh, somebody who's uh um, I guess admission of guilt, I guess, is the kind of the term, you know, something like that. Uh, it's called Favorite Lies. Stood at the podium, put my on this book Promise after promise I swore Vows that I took In front of all the world And all our friends and family We took that final step Toward a grand destiny Here my faith close my favorite lies everyone wants to hear they want me to say I never dreamed that I'd become so good at this game The courage is a notion I held once dear to my heart But ambition watered down every time I made a sound Hear my face us close my Great song. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So, Favorite Lies. That's favorite a, Lies. A, that's a ca- catchy tune. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's admission of guilt, sort <laughs> of. You know, there's some... <laughs> But there's some romance and political stuff thrown in, so it's uh, kind of fun. So yeah, nice. I don't know if fun's the right word, but <laughs> nice, nice. I enjoy it. <laughs> now I, you know, I, I post every time uh, my guests are on the show, and I, I, I posted uh, 
uh, you this morning. And it looks like you're in a recording studio or maybe yes. it says the town hall in the background. Uh, where Can you see that? Um, you have to, oh, might have to come around because this the screen is, is like so hard to... What is that? Uh, it looks like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 at, at, at Factory Underground where I've done some recording down, oh, yeah, in, down yeah, in Norwalk, okay. Connecticut. Uh, they yeah. actually are my label as well, so they're they're a label and they they do all sorts of services and they're awesome. And, yeah, nice uh, little uh, nice little setup there. Speaking of recording though, I'm, a, I'm actually finishing up an album now, um, which is going to be coming out September 15. So I'm super stoked about that. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Yes, yes. And what's the name of that album? It's going to be called White. All right. Yeah. Not the White album. It's just going to be called White. Just White. <laughs> <laughs> Not to confuse. Just White. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Although be- being confused with the Beatles wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. <laughs> you, know, <so. laughs> you know, I like that because there's, uh, there's little Beatles uh, uh, stuff in uh, music history. Right, yeah, right absolutely. now, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I, I saw a post. Someone said, "You know, as I get older, the more I, the more, the, as the older I get, the more I hate the Beatles." I was like, "Really? I, like, I the like them more." It's actually the opposite for me. It's funny. I know. Did I know. Me too. Did you see that that carpool karaoke thing with with Paul McCartney? You've got no, to watch no. It. I have it, to check that out. It's all over the place. Yeah, it's you know that I, I forget the guy's name. He's um uh he's a comedian, I guess, and he does this carpool karaoke where he drives around with famous people and they sing songs. Well, he did one with Paul McCartney in um, in Liverpool. It is amazing. I mean, it, it'll, it'll bring tears to your eyes. It, everybody who like posts on there is like, "Oh my God, I was welled up." Was uh, James so James Corden, That's right? It. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it right here. It I'll, is, I'll, I'll have to play it. it I'll have to play it, it after our recording because it's stunning. probably copyrighted it's really, or something. Yeah, it's so good. Anyway, <laughs> uh, a little plug for Paul McCartney. He, he needs it. So. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. So they met uh, on. Uh, uh, live from Liverpool, I guess was uh, or something like that. Yeah, I guess it's uh, it's uh, so good. It's yeah, so good. that's it, it great. Makes you Have you ever seen Paul McCartney uh, perform? No, no. Oh man, he you got to check gotta him do out it now. I mean, yeah, soon, right? yeah. He's, he's still he he's can, can speed, still uh, right? he can so, still sing. Yeah, can he? You yeah. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's very good, uh, and of course, he plays everything from um, early Beatles to. Uh, you know, to wings and right. all that, and then right. then he closes with stuff like uh, Helter Skelter and oh wow, you know, nice. and yeah, it just yeah. like blows the place away. I, I, I saw him at Fenway Park actually. Are you serious? How yeah. cool was that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did it sound alright or was it great? It sounded yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, it was fantastic. I mean, I was right in the uh, where was I? Right by the pesky pole. You know, okay. just off the uh, you know off the floor off the field. Right, right. Um, and uh, I loved it. So I bet when he did Hey Jude, everybody did the na 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 na. Oh yeah, right. it yeah. It must have been pretty magical, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. And he told the story about Blackbird and oh, interesting. You know, and yeah, interesting. and yeah. got that. What was that? What did he play that with? Um, uh, was that not a mandolin, but a uh, uh, maybe a baby guitar? Oh, it's or a different something. kind of guitar. Huh? Yeah, something. A ukulele or. Yeah, I yeah I don't know what it was. I always it was, it was just something. A guitar on the, on the yeah, there track. was there was something about that. Huh. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's great. <laughs> he's pretty uh, impressive. So uh, let's see. So how about uh, do you want to move on to uh, my favorite? Sure, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna go with homily. Yes. All right. Lights are low and Noah's eyes closed now It's the end of the run, they're gonna tear it all down A carpenter built a house, not where my heart dwells now Ain't my home, but it's gonna have to do somehow Everybody I meet, everyone is asleep Every effort I make just gets torn down And every song that I hear just reminds me of you Like a psalm from the pulpit where the preacher sings out Everything sounds like a homily Incantations or revelations Knees buckled, hand together, head down 
so down Every word that you read in that book, all the pages Everything it says is wrong, is all right Everything reads like a homily Play it cool, play it like you never did before Play it like you mean it more And more And play it solitary, overstated Or just fake it Let me be Carefully I unwrap the wrap around my heart It's protective coating that you paint it on You paint on Carry it on, believe and carry it all this way Just take it light, take it slow, take it all Cause it's just all Fantastic. Thank you. I don't know how you do that so early in the morning. <laughs> Hit those high notes. You know? it's, it's a little challenging. <laughs> <laughs> well, you handle it really well. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So if you just tuned in, we're speaking with uh, my guest, uh, Brian Larney. And uh, Brian can be, uh, his music can be located, you can certainly uh, search him out on Facebook, Brian Larney, L-A-R-N-E-Y. And where else can folks? Uh, uh, BrianLarney.com Brian is, is sort of the headquarters, as it were. You know. Nice. So I'm on Twitter and all the other stuff, too. So yeah. you can find information pretty much anywhere. All know, so. right. And, uh, and Brian's, uh, Brian's uh, uh, moving around. He's going to be uh, down in Torrington, Torrington, Connecticut, 1 p.m. today, the Sasso Cold Fire Pizza venue. That's at 1 p.m. And on the first uh, Club Passim Campfire Festival, that's uh, Saturday at 10 p.m. in Cambridge, as well as uh, October 6th, Peak Skill Coffee House, Saturday, 7 p.m., Peak Skill New York. Anything I else? A little bit. Yeah. I, off the top of my head, no, but there's, there's probably other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the stuff that we... But no, no, that stuff's... Uh, those are my favorites. I'm actually really excited about Club Passim. Um, if it's Passim or Passim, I'm not sure. How Passim? You it, yeah. Now, you, uh, you've been there before, haven't I you? I have not. No, oh, okay. I hear it's a really cool venue, though, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, so Cambridge is be, a great I'm town. Sorry. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, so, uh, sorry, I was just uh, trying to uh, uh, see if I could stop the... Uh, uh, stop the madness. That, that other stop music. That other music. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'd just like to re- remind folks, uh, this is WXOJ 103.3 FM Northampton, 103.3 FM, streaming online at valleyforradio.org. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we're here with uh, Brian Larney. I pretty much have the camera on you the whole time. That's that's the way it should be, right? But it, this is where, sure this is where I get to be on. You, you the, don't uh, have you can't flip back and forth. You don't have two cameras. Yeah, I can, but you know, I mean, you're the you're the guest, so <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, but and and remember, folks, you can catch this uh, performance on uh, Northampton Community Television Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, three thirty and uh, four p.m. They run our Valley Free Radio shows. So hope you'll. Uh, uh, check that out on Northampton Community Television. All right, there you go. Oh, interesting. I just saw it. You actually. saw that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the producer, director. It's really uh, cool, actually. I'm thinking, I'm watching you hit all the buttons while you're talking and stuff. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's a great, uh, great little studio. You know, for community radio, we we've, we've definitely got it going. Yeah, it's just the coolest place ever. I'm so glad to come back. Thank yeah, you. thanks, yeah. thanks, and and you know, I mean. 
being um, sorry, got to be on again. Uh, being right across the street from the Sojourner Truth statue, I mean, that is quite a privilege. Where is this? I have to check. Yeah, it out. when you're driving in, look, okay. there's a statue right under the tree across the st- street, and that is the famous abolitionist uh, Sojourner Truth. Her first home Get was literally. Right on Park Street, we're perpendicular to uh, Park Street right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's huh. a, like a historic site right there. I'll uh, have to check it out for yeah, sure. Was, I didn't, sir. didn't know. Yeah, Excellent. well, there was, a, there was a, a utopian society here in the 1850s, I think, okay. uh, called the Northampton Association. Ah. And so uh, folks like pooled their money and they had like a silk business. And uh, the abolitionists came out like uh, uh, Frederick Douglass and Sojourner Truth. And uh, there's a uh, John, uh, David Ruggles... Uh, um, um, you know, home, home uh, museum right down on Nanatuck Street where I live, right around okay. the corner. Very cool. And uh, on the Martin Luther King Day, Dr. Martin Luther King, there's a walking tour of all these sites that uh, local historian Steve Tr- Strymer runs. So we're rich in history right here in Florence. Yeah, we're no abolitionist kidding, huh? history. Yeah, yeah, this utopian wow. society was a huge thing. I'm Very kind of socialist sort of sure. uh, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah, in, yeah. you know, together supporting one another. What and a cool idea, actually. Yeah, well, it's like Bernie's <laughs> thing, you know, uh, <laughs> Medicare uh, for all, you know, the single yeah, payer health care. Yeah. It's something that we really want to. Can you imagine? You know, yeah, want to so. get going? I know. Well, you know, Obamacare was a start. It's kind of being yeah. pulled apart, but yeah, it's kind of a mess. You got to get Bernie in there. You yeah, know, really, really get it going. Yep, I'm big on that utopian ideal, as it were. So, yeah, you know, yeah, I, mean, I know. At least it, I know on paper it, it's it's probably uh, easier than it is in real life to 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 have it work, you know. But uh, just the, the well, the, something's got to give. I yeah, mean, uh, I hear you. you know, the healthcare you. is so costly. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's, yeah. it's 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 absolutely crazy. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, runaway train for sure. For sure. Yeah. All right. All right. So. Uh, Let's see. How about uh, how about if we go on to um, want to do uh, the uh, online song? Yeah, let's We're do gonna it. We're going to go with the the crossing. Yeah, right? the crossing. Why don't you want to introduce that? Sure. Tell the us cro- about that. crossing's my my latest single. I'm I'm uh, pretty stoked about it. Um, I actually recorded it a couple years back um, as a demo for my band uh, Lines West, and we we tracked it as the band. Uh, but I've always loved this version. And uh, so the label got wind of it and decided to put it out um, as a single. It just came out a few weeks back, maybe early July. Um, and uh, I can't say enough cool things about it. I'm just, I'm just so happy that it, it's, it's seeing the light of day. Nice. You know, sometimes songs, you work on them and they kind of just sit there and uh, uh, they end up on a record that nobody ever gets to hear. Um, but as a single, we get to put a little more focus on it. So. All right. Let's... Uh... Let's get that rolling, and uh, this is Brian's new single, The Crossing, and we're listening to it uh, online. Lost, lost in the wake of your fly. the way end of the line And now the sun is so high As high as the calm in July
Wow, what a great uh, what a great song. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, tell us about uh, the, the recording of that. We were just discussing it. How yeah, about, um, uh, well, I, I recorded that at home. I have yeah. a, a little a little home studio, um, and uh, I played all the instruments except for the drums. I had a guy come in and, and play yeah. the drums for me, and it was a uh, it was a uh, it was a great experience. Um, that Boy, what the recording at home? I mean, what's better than that, right? I mean, it's, it's, not uh, much. I mean, I, I it's convenient. Would, and, and, it's convenient. Know, it's cost effective. Cost effective. It, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I have I've, I've written so many songs that I want to I want to record and get out there, and um, it's 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 cost it's costly to go to a studio, studio time, get right, a producer, yeah. yeah, and all this other stuff, and then you have the studio time, the uh, the mixing, the you know, et cetera. Um, Actually, interestingly enough, we're talking about my my new record coming out uh, yes. earlier. It's called White. Um, it is. I was actually seeking a producer all all year long, essentially. So since, yeah, I remember we talked about that. Yeah, yeah since yeah, about yeah. January, um, I started actually in earnest looking uh, uh, for a producer for this next record. And all the while, I was making demos, just like I did with this with uh, the Crossing, where I had you know somebody played drums, but I just played all the other instruments. And at some point, I realized I was like, all I really have to do is just clean these up and and and, and fix some of the the mistakes. And I think I've got a record. So I took a song nice. um, from the, from the demo sessions and I brought it into uh, back to Factory Underground, where where I do a lot of my work. And I had one of their guys mix it. This guy named John Chalosky. He's a Grammy winning uh, mixer. He's he's awesome. And I gave him the song, and he, he gave it back to me. And I was just floored. I said, you know what? I said, this record's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I was gonna. I, I was, you know, I was like, I got enough for a new record beyond that. So I'm like, this one's done. It just felt so, it felt so relieved the, nice. and, and complete. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, I was like, this is the statement I want to make. Yeah, no. Nice. Why was I struggling with yeah. trying to find the perfect people and whatnot? Yeah, I was like, it's already yeah. done. It's so, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So, so you just got the rest of it mixed. And, I know. He, he's, or, it's actually getting mixed right now. So oh, nice. Okay. It, yeah, it comes out September 15. So. Um, which is real yeah, soon. Fantastic. Yeah, so I'm, I'm super stoked about it. And I'm hearing the mixes back, and I'm going, this is probably the most complete statement I've made on record, you know? Excellent. Uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, wow, just like in the process of life itself, you know? Yeah, this it's just, really yeah. weird, like, epiphany occurred. I was like, why don't I just get this mixed and see what, what this one song sounds like? And then it occurred to me, I was like, this thing is really complete. <laughs> it doesn't need a lot of... Uh, intervention you know so um i'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that yeah. so <laughs> well congratulations oh thank you yeah, that's, thank you that's soon I'm enough so happy to hear you know when that uh, that happens you know we have a a recording studio here the david s Dow memorial studio i did not know that yeah okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so uh it's um online at uh valley free valleyfreeradio.org slash recording there's information on it there I will check so it on our out. website Absolutely. Valley Free Radio is it in this building or is it it's actually uh, right through that window right there it's the next room oh get out very right cool there. yeah, yeah. You do can, a lot uh, of work or uh, you know I'm not sure I'm not involved in uh, booking or gotcha you know or any of that but you know we want to make it more available to the community so you know put the word out if, if we can ever uh, help you out with it you know, yeah it's, it's right absolutely. here absolutely right I here. will um, so, uh, so congratulations. So Thank that's you. white coming out September 15th. That's a Brian Larney's new, uh, um, Brian Larney's new, uh, record September 15th. Uh, um, uh, and personally produced, I guess you would say for the yeah, most part. I ended up producing it, which was a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, uh, sometimes you kind of know what you want. You know, and yeah. um, although I didn't realize it, so, yeah, <laughs> which I know sounds funny, but um, you know, next time out, I'm definitely going back to to a, to a producer. You know, um, I have a whole batch of new songs ready to go, so I'm. Um, who knows? Maybe spring we'll have another one. <laughs> yeah, like the old days when, like, the Beatles would battle record boom, like, two boom, a year, boom. you know, yeah. or three or whatever. So. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so we've got a few minutes left, and you're going to go with. Uh, uh, Man from Manford, correct? Man from Want to Manford. talk about that song? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. uh, I'm a bit of a weather geek, nerd, whatever you want to call it, like like a lot of people are. And and one day I was watching the Weather Channel, 
freaking out over some storm that was coming or something. And they put on this show, um, which was called, I don't know, uh, I Survived a Disaster or something <laughs> silly like that. And uh, the story actually hit home. It was um, uh, about a town called Manford in, in Oklahoma, and uh, a terrible storm came through and pretty much wiped out the whole city. Um, so that inspired the song, and it's called Man from Manford. for the weekend I don't envy them when they get in when they get in it's a day like any other say good morning to each other start arguing further outskirts condition red Sirens howl in the distance Get under the bed I'm alone with you in our safe place And I want to make amends with you Convinced you of one shredded wake the dead the further it gets the closer it seems the big black cloud came suddenly and I know a man from Manford but he's stuck in the side of his house and he's done is toppled in the parking lot It tears down more than buildings Rips a hole in our heart And they're hiding out in bathroom stalls Parishioners say that God is with them they pray for sun still the rain comes still the rain comes still the rain comes all right Thank you so much. What a wonderful tune. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me, man. This has yeah, been great. Yeah, it's so great to have you in. And uh, you've been listening to Brian Larney, and Brian's new record, uh, White, is going to be released uh, September 15th. And he's playing this afternoon in Torrington, Connecticut at 1 p.m. at Sasso Cold Fire Pizza Venue and also Club, Club Pasim. Uh, Campfire Festival in Cambridge, September 1st, Saturday at 10 p.m., and at the Peak Skill Coffee House, October 6th, Saturday at 7 p.m. And you can check out his tunes also at brianlarney.com. So uh, we will uh, look forward to having you in again. Thank you. Um, and uh, yeah. Hey, uh, would you like to read uh, uh, our enlightening quote for the day? Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot here, <laughs> but it's a fun, uh, it's a fun sort of a quote. See it highlighted at the, do- at the oh top God, there. I can barely see that. <laughs> Do you need? Actually, I need a little more light. Is that possible? Uh, 
Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, well, just do your best. Success is not a matter of accumulating... Good... Uh, wealth or <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry it's so I, 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 just, oh, okay. I right. apologize I'm embarrassed but uh, no no that's okay uh, well how about if I read it Please success, yeah. success is not a matter of accumulating more of this or that it is not measured in a means uh, of changing the quality of it is more a means of changing the quality of your life wealth power fame and knowledge alone will not make you happy no matter how much you uh uh, of these you acquire nor can you take them with you when you die but improving the quality of your life is a lasting approach to true happiness so uh words to live by for sure yeah I mean, that's, uh, yeah it's you know that's the kind of stuff that. you constantly need to remind yourself of i mean i know I've i been... get caught up in so much stupid little stuff you know <laughs> i'm sure we all do and then we do and you get then you got a backpedal go whoa 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 just hold on it's not that important You're, it's you know? so, so true yeah. and uh and by the way in uh, music history in on this date in 1964 the kinks recorded you really got me it was actually released in the U.S. and the Be- yeah, and the Beatles uh, single uh, on their own Apple Records was released, and that was uh, Hey Jude and uh, Revolution. So that nice. was on Apple Records, nice. and then in '67, uh, Jimi Hendrix Purple Haze was released um, as the opening track on in the U.S. release of Are You Experienced? Right, right. and uh, three years later, an official opening party was held that. Jimi Hendrix Electric Ladyland Studio in New York City. How so, cool is that? Uh, what a cool day, huh? Yeah, I know. So, uh, so I've got a few tunes to uh, kick out here, and uh, it's going to be uh, the Kinks. You really got me. Um, so, Brian, thanks again. Thank you. All right, man. And we'll Rick. chat a little bit. I'm just going to sign off yep. of uh, of uh, Northampton Community Television, and thank you to Al Williams and Jen and Dave and everybody helps who helps uh, produce. Uh, the uh, video portion of uh, our program here uh, for Northampton Community Television. Take care, folks.